Alright, beginning today's vlog, uh, today I'm going to be going to the store, doing a lot of downtown LA things, and I'm going to be capping off the night with an interview with Uno the Activist, so I'm pretty hyped on that. He previously at one point said that he would never do a no jumper on Twitter, and then, I don't know, somehow we just sort of connected, started talking on Instagram, he's a nice kid, I like his music, so I'm uh, very interested to go have a conversation with him. Here goes today. Hose Matt! Hose Matt! Hose Matt! Yeah. <laughs> Full house today. Everybody's getting fixed up. Everybody come to the awesome shit story downtown LA. We're helping out the community. Hey. Ooh, good looking cat. No problems here. Beautiful, beautiful animal. I feel like I'm on safari. Just got to the store and got word that we might be doing Uno and then Famous Dex back to back tonight, which would make this an epic, iconic, legendary vlog in which I get two flaming hot hip hop interviews back to back. Can't promise anything, but I'm very excited. So my day completely just took a turn when I realized that I was gonna have to do two poppin' ass interviews tonight. Honestly, like, when it comes to me doing underground rappers, Uno and then Famous Dex, like tonight is gonna be pretty fucking historic if both of these go down. This is 100% what the Rope Gang wants from us. Also, I just wanted to say that one thing I've really kind of learned since I got into like the rap game on the business side of things is that there is a huge amount of value to being like in people's faces, meaning like showing up at shows, going to studios and just fucking with people, FaceTiming people, just sort of like keeping your face in people's memories. Like I'm such an internet kid that to me, it's like everything should be able to be handled over email or whatever. But when you actually go out and just like meet people and like, like if I were to go to the studio right now and a bunch of my homies were all in the studio and there was like one real famous rapper there or whatever who I always wanted an interview with, and I was never able to get it beforehand. If I were to just like go to the studio, see him, smoke a blunt with him, talk to him for five minutes, my odds of getting that interview are like 10 times higher. So that's just like a big, big piece of advice in general is just like make your face known, let people know that you're a real person because it is so hard for you to stand out as somebody who's just doing stuff online. And obviously I have a big advantage in the sense that I have a bunch of followers and stuff, but even then it's just so, so beneficial. It's totally in your best interest to just make your presence known, get your face out there, the face card. All right, so I just got the Dexter FaceTime and he's officially, officially coming. And he told me he really fucks with me and the first thing he did when he got on the FaceTime, he goes, hey, no jumper, and did that, which that really, you know, just breathed life into my lungs. That was just so great. So I'm waiting for some Uber Eats right now, but. I'm just so excited about tonight. This is gonna be fucking dope. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Normally when I have like a real big interview coming up, I feel kind of nervous, but right now I honestly just feel happy as fuck. I just feel like I'm in a very good mental space, very confident, and now I have Uber Eats, which makes me even more confident. Confident I'm gonna have a really good meal. Yesterday I informed all of you how to find out what songs are in these videos by using an app called Shazam. Today I'm going to answer another question that gets asked all the time and which I can't believe you guys actually asked me, which is how to get a bike. Well, if you want to get a bike, this is a bike shop. So if you want a bike, you should probably contact the bike shop. You could, uh, you know, call, you could stop in, but if you want a bike, we literally sell bikes. All right, young backwards hat. I'm riding back to the house. I just figured, you know, as long as I have three hours to kill, instead of sitting there driving myself crazy trying to write more questions, I figured I would just, you know, head home, catch a little workout, shower, so I could go there feeling real, real good, prime mentally. I actually feel really, really good right now. I'm just trying to hold on to that energy, you know? Because tonight is a very big night for me. I'm very excited, as I have already said in this vlog like a hundred times. About to head in, about to do both of these motherfucking interviews. I'm out here mixing the polo, with the cream, like a goddamn fool. Slight update, also second day in a row with two coffees. Um, Uno is running a little bit late because he was just working on something with Dex, but that should be okay. Just showed up here back at the store and we have a very serious problem. The store has an infestation, which threatens to make me cancel both interviews. As you can see, it's not quite an infestation. It's just one giant pestilent rodent that I don't know how I'm gonna get rid of, just kidding, it's a cat. <laughs> pound of dry weed is better than a pound of no weed, you feel me? 
Well, that's a very good point. You know, the activist interview is about to go down. He's over here lighting the microphone on fire or sparking a blunt. I'm not really 100% sure. Both, yeah. You guys ready? <laughs> you guys ready? Big backwards bean rolled. Oh, you know how that shit goes. <laughs> One legend leaves, another legend arrives. What's up, TK? This thing got a kadama. I mean, man. I'm, out, I'm out here, man. I'm out here. I'm trying to be like little house phone, man. man I be hitting gonna... this guy in the phone, man. This thing don't want to hit me back, man. Man, look at this. That's, 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 that's the first part of being Hollywood. Man, when you see a nigga, you gotta give a nigga an excuse. Like, damn, man, you know how I want to be. You ain't get no love in the streets if you don't respect TK, bro. bro you got to give it up. Man, you I give it up. Give it up to TK. All right, so just received word that Famous Dex is right around the corner. He is, in fact, coming. Very, very excited. True vlog heads, true rope heads know that this has been in the works for a little while now. And true rope heads know Famous Dex, one of my favorite rappers. And I got a pound of kush for when I get home. Fuck that, bro. Shout out to our sponsor, man. Shout out to 2020. You got to get this shit. Take you high to the moon, man. That'll get you real high. Look, it'll get you that high. All right, P. Cat. God damn. Finally getting it done. What's happening? When he FaceTimed me earlier, he did that shit right away. I was so happy. <laughs> Adam, you're looking like Balder today. Balder? Yeah, well, because I'm wearing the polo jacket, so it's like I'm kind of. Shout out to no jumper, you know what I'm saying? I'm balling off free throw. My big bro right here, man. I love this guy right here. He always look out for me. I'm 2020, and hey, you got yeah. motherfucking. Shout out to motherfucking boy Alan, man. We in here, man. It's really true. They hear me talking. They hear me, talking, right they hear me talking, right here, me talking about you. Yeah. And now they get to see us actually chilling, smoking. Motherfucker. Yeah. We're about to do probably one of the best interviews that you ever heard in your life. So make sure you tune the fuck in. Just hold the pound up or some shit. That's a thumbnail right there. That's what we doing, baby. Good guy. Super fat. No, that's a good guy. Oh, yeah. You gotta show the ring, you feel me? Bite. Bite way. I'm about to get one of those this year. Dexter way. That's the championship ring right there. Honestly, one of the most fun interviews I ever did in my life. I loved his music since the first time I heard it, but this guy, it was just such a positive, fun fucking dude. I can't even say enough. I fucking love Adam. We had a fucking good time. I love this guy too. No jump up. I think we're friends forever. If I still had MySpace, I'd be putting you in the top eight, bro. We out here. Love you, dog. I love you too. Look at the Tracy just in here. Always. Famous Dex loves little Tracy. That's one thing I learned in this interview. Y'all know me, and you know that one thing that makes me really, really happy is getting a really good episode of the motherfucking No Jumper podcast done. I'm so full of joy right now. You have no idea. That was so good. And he is so sick. I'm just so happy. I can't even put it into words. I love Dex. Actually, I'll hit you with a little spoiler right here. Is that the controversial shit, I didn't have to ask. He got right into it. Right from the beginning, he was like, listen, I want to talk about all the shit that people have been saying about me and the, the video that came out and everything like that. And he just, he talked about everything. He was so open, so positive. Like, seriously, just... I realize I've been talking for now 44 seconds about how much I like Famous Dex, but hey, I would be a real fucked up person if I did not end this vlog by just saying, hey, free my big bro, Tax Stone, is my favorite podcaster, and if Tax does end up staying in jail for some significant period of time, it would be an absolute tragedy for the motherfucking hip hop community. One of our finest guys doing it right now. I just really, really hope that shit works out for him, and uh, yeah. Thank you very much for joining me on yet another day in my fucking weird ass life. Thank you very much to Uno the Activist and Famous Dex for helping me deliver you guys the motherfucking content that you want. And trust me when I say that I've got heaters in the stash. Dex is not even the one that I was telling you guys about the big surprise I had. Uh, Dex was kind of more laid out. You knew this was coming, but I got, I got shit. I got shit in the clip dropping on you guys soon. Thank you very much. I love you all. Every single one of you that watched this, thank you. Rope Gang, podcast of the motherfucking millennium. I'm 22, no jumper. Rope Gang, thank you very much. I appreciate you all. Peace. I'm over here at the taco truck. I was going to shut the vlog down right there, 
But I just want to say that I was in line at 7-Eleven buying a pack of woods and a security guard was like, yo, man, I fuck with your neck tattoo. This shit is dope. And I just was in a good mood. So I was like, hey, you ever heard of Famous Dex? He's like, yeah, 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 he's funny. Uh, Dex, dude. He started doing the ad libs right away. And I was like, yeah, hey, just got an interview with him. And he was like, oh, for real? Put the podcast in his phone and everything. So shout out to my man Tremaine. I think it was Tremaine. It might have been Jermaine, but I think it was Tremaine. Another rope gang soldier. If you don't fuck with me, you're a stupid, dumb idiot. Uh.